This slide talks about carbon composition and wire wound resistors. The carbon composition resistors are made from a mixture of finely ground graphite mixed with ceramic powder and the wire wound are made from resistive element which is prepared from a special alloy and bound on a ceramic rod. Carbon composition resistors can be used for high power applications in comparison with carbon film resistors. The wire wound resistors are recommended for still higher power applications like power amplifiers, power drives, etc. as compared to carbon composition resistors. Color coding for resistors Resistor values are usually marked on the resistor itself by using color rings or bands. For through hole resistors, we have 4 band and 5 band color coding scheme. 4 band axial resistors 4 band identification is the most commonly used color coding scheme on all resistors. It consists of 4 colored bands that are painted around the body of the resistor. The scheme is simple. The first two numbers are the first two significant digits of the resistance value. The third is a multiplier and the fourth is the tolerance of the value. Each color corresponds to a certain number shown in the chart below. The tolerance for a 4 band resistor will be 2%, 5%, or 10%. If no band is present, then it is understood as a 20% tolerance that is least accurate. The other types of non-polar capacitors are the film capacitors which are essential in EMI suppression applications. You can see on slide various capacitors with their type listed, but we cannot cover all of them. If you require details regarding any of these, you can mail us for the same. For example, we have taken an SMPS design and we would see the effect on the output by first using an electrolytic capacitor and then a ceramic one. From the slide, it is clear that when an electrolytic capacitor is used, the output waveform is a triangular wave instead of a sinusoid why? Because at this 692.48 kilohertz of high frequency, the electrolytic capacitor will behave like a resistor, that is a ramp waveform and not as a capacitor. On coronary, when you see the second waveform, then it is a sinusoid with some ripple which can be minimized later on. This is because the ceramic capacitor has a resonant frequency up till 1 MHz. Hence, it will work well with this frequency. Inductor The third passive component used in electronic circuits is the inductor. This component is more concerned with the magnetic field rather than the electric field. As we had for resistors, and capacitors. First, we will learn what are an inductor and its relationship to the magnetic field. An inductor is a coil of wire wound on any ferrous material such as iron or ferrite which provides an easy path for the magnetic field. The simplest form of inductor is an iron coarse inductor which is wound without any core material. First, we can define the inductor as an electromagnetic device consisting of a conductor wound in cylindrical or spiral form to obtain concentrated field parallel to the axis of the coil. This electrical device passes DC and blocks AC. The symbol for an inductor is as you see on the slide. It is measured in Henry and is denoted by H.
so mathematically in electrical terms the inductor will have an inductance of 1 henry if it produces an emf of 1 volt when the current through the inductor changes at the rate of 1 ampere per second the main function of the inductor is to store the energy in a magnetic field the energy stored by an inductor is equal to the amount of work required to establish the current through the inductor and therefore the magnetic field is given by half li square the energy stored can be greatly increased by having a coil wound on a ferrous material rather than an air coated one in our next slides we will study more ferrous coils their properties and the basic definitions like flux density and field intensity